FIFO is first in first out. So whichever products have got in first, they will be sold first, right? And LIFO is the product which has come latest will be sold out first. FIFO is generally used in case of products where the shelf life of the product is small. Perishable. Like a perishable good, like food items. Even technology products, they have a smaller shelf life. For example, iPhone 10 or 11 or 12 may not have a big life as what you and I imagine. Because once the new iPhone is launched, people are going to rush to buy that. So the older iPhone has a very smaller shelf life. Correct? In such case, companies use FIFO, FIFO, FIFO. But when the product life is large, companies prefer, it's non-perishable, then they prefer LIFO. LIFO. But LIFO is, remember, LIFO is only for US GAAP companies. Other companies, uh, other countries don't allow LIFO. Clear? Yes. Now let me show you if possible. I'm discussing Apple's inventory valuation. What is Apple's inventory valuation we just discussed? What would Apple be using? It's a technology product, right? So Apple would FIFO. be using FIFO, right? Yes. Uh, let me see. You can see my screen, correct? So I'm going on the SEC website and inventory. What do you see in inventory? Inventories are measured using FIFO. Do you see that? Everyone? Visible? So here, when I go into the details, inventories are measured using the first in first out method. Is that clear, everyone? You want to go in more detail about this? You can also go into detail and you can also check the accounting standard relevant to it, right? Everything is available freely on the internet. Everyone clear? So what is Apple's policy? It uses FIFO. Right? Why would it use FIFO? Because as I said, the technology is probably going to change faster. So Apple would want to sell its, uh, you know, older product quickly, right? LIFO is used when, as I said, in the case of coal companies or oil and gas companies. So ExxonMobil would be using LIFO. Why? Because what is the product that ExxonMobil sells? Crude oil. Crude oil. So let me show you ExxonMobil also. So where will I go? I go to the section. I see the notes to the financial statement, which is footnotes. In the footnotes, I go to the summary of accounting policies, revenue, derivatives, inventory. Yeah, here it is. So in the inventory, I click the inventory. So I expand it. Crude oil and merchandise inventories are carried at lower of current market price. Okay, we'll see that. And they have used LIFO method. So LIFO method is used by ExxonMobil. Clear everyone? We'll discuss more about this. They are carried at lower of, of current market value or cost. This is the inventory measurement which we are going to do today. So we are going to discuss this as well. Okay. So what is ExxonMobil using? Its method as LIFO. Clear? Everyone? Yes. 